back to the Tiger TV Tailgate Show. I am joined now by head soccer coach Brian Lee. Coach, it is a great, it's a great pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. Now, before we get into your guys' football, I got to tell you, looking around, the sights, the smells, the environment, what's your favorite part about LSU game day? Oh, it, it, they're few and far between because we're a fall sport as well. So when we are in town and there's a football home day, we try and enjoy it as much as possible. The kids the players, the staff, all of our coaches, we bring the families out and we just enjoy walking around and seeing the environment and it, it, there's nothing like it anywhere in the country. There really is. There's plenty to do just by walking around also. Absolutely. Now, looking at a little broader sense of this, uh, soccer so far, this over this past summer we saw the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Lots of attention, lots of watch parties, the close games. It really got galvanized the country into loving soccer. Yeah. Now, what do you think is going to do for the game growing to keep it growing in the, in the U.S., but also sustain the growth? Well, it's a big, big step. Ten years or eight years ago, the last World Cup when I was in Baton Rouge, or the first World Cup when I was in Baton Rouge, you could go into any sports bar in town and it would be just dead. And I sat there with a couple buddies and watched the U.S. play. This year, you could barely get a seat. You had to show up an hour early. And even if the U.S. wasn't playing, the sports bars were packed. Um, yeah, I think it's a huge step forward. We've always been the sport of the future, yes. but for the first time, maybe two weeks ago, there was a top 50 football recruit who chose soccer as a pro career over football. Yep. If that happens a couple more times, the U.S. is going to be right at the top of the world soccer. Right now, how would you see our chances looking at the 2018 World Cup? It's still going to be tough. If we make the quarterfinals, that's a great achievement. Yep. Um, but as we push our better athletes and soccer becomes more mainstream. If you can imagine LeBron James, uh, Stephen Curry, and uh, you know, oh, right on campus, our yep. defensive backfield for LSU. Oh, yep. That would be a back four that'd be the best back four in the world yep. if they grew up playing soccer. Yeah, the, the athleticism would just be Oh, it'd be over the top. Now, switching focus now on to the women's game. The, the 2015 World Cup is next summer in Canada. Yes. Now, this, this past World Cup, we saw Abby Wambach, Hope Solo, Alex Morgan. We got to know those names. What has the popularity for women's American soccer, how has it helped not only the game in the country, but your game down here? Well, it's been across the world, really. The U.S. has been the leader in women's soccer for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the world's kind of, it's the reverse what we're doing. The U.S. men's soccer is catching up. The rest of the world is catching up with us. Mm -hmm. And here in Louisiana, the growth over the last 10, 12 years has been unbelievable. The high school support and the youth clubs are right here in Baton Rouge and beyond. Uh, there's more girls playing and more girls sticking with it. Very true. Now, shifting focus to your Lady Tiger squad. You took a tough loss last night to the number 10-ranked and m Starting off with a tough road trip also, but now you guys are home. You start an SEC play. How do you guys look to turn things around getting into it? Well, I've got a super young team. Uh, we start five freshmen right up the spine, goalkeeper, two center backs, two center midfielders, and uh, they've got great youth backgrounds, part of a recruiting class ranked in the top 10 in the country. Um, but we just got to mature and get used to the, the SEC games. They're unbelievably physical, and, and our kids' youth cultures, they're not used to that mm -hmm. coming in. Uh, but uh, I hope we're better prepared, and tomorrow we've got a good Arkansas team coming in, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're excited to watch that for sure. Now, Coach, right. one last question for you concerning, concerning today's game. Yeah. What do you, what's the score prediction for you? Oh, man, coming off the loss last week, you got to think it's – it's very one-sided, let's say 66 to 14. I like it. Hey, but that's I'm a, a homer. Hey, I, I, like, so. I like that score. I'm, I, I got no complaints with that one. But thank All you, right. Coach Awesome. Thank it was you. great to join you. Enjoyed and it. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great Thanks. game. Yeah, we come right back after the Tiger, Tiger TV Tailgate Show.